substitution reactions in this module you will learn about substitution reactions let us begin the study of substitution reactions with a simple activity take a small quantity of an aqueous solution of copper sulfate which is blue in color in a beaker then Dip an iron knife in the solution and wait for a while. After a while you will notice a reddish brown deposit at some places on the dipped portion of the knife. At the same time, the blue color of the solution fades. Now, wait for some more time. You will now observe a reddish brown coating on the entire dipped portion of the knife. Also, the color of the solution changes to pale green. Why does this happen? It happens because some of the iron of the knife dissolves in the solution by ionizing. During ionization, an iron atom loses two electrons and forms ferrous ions. The ferrous ions so formed move in the solution freely. The electrons lost by the iron atoms are gained by the copper ions present in the solution. This changes the copper ions to copper atoms which deposit on the knife. The blue color of the aqueous copper sulfate solution is due to copper ions. Thus, as the number of copper ions in the solution decreases, the blue color of the solution fades. With time, More and more ferrous ions are formed and pass into the solution. At the same time, more and more copper ions change to copper atoms and deposit on the knife. The copper deposit is seen as a reddish brown layer on the knife, whereas the increasing number of ferrous ions in the solution turns the solution green. Thus you have seen that a chemical reaction takes place between iron and a copper sulfate solution. During the reaction, ferrous ions substitute copper ions from the copper sulfate solution resulting in the formation of copper metal and ferrous sulfate solution. Such reactions during which an atom or a group of one reactant is substituted by another atom or group are called substitution reactions. Let's check out a few more substitution reactions. A substitution reaction takes place between ethyl bromide and potassium cyanide. During the reaction, the cyano group of potassium cyanide substitutes the bromo group of ethyl bromide to form ethyl cyanide and potassium bromide. Another example is the substitution reaction between methane and chlorine. One of the chlorine atoms of the chlorine molecule substitutes one of the hydrogen atoms of methane to form methyl chloride and hydrogen chloride. In this module you've learned Chemical reactions during which an atom or a group of one reactant is substituted 
by another atom or group are called substitution reactions.